So recently in the videos, you guys have been seeing us fish the pier, but we've kind of been going for some smaller stuff. Today, we got a little crazy, man. I stopped at the store. We got a big rig setup. We're a little wild here. This is uh, not the cheapest of gear. But y'all have been seeing, man, we kind of been going to this big pier, fishing in the shallower water. Today, we're going all the way out to the deep end, going to be fishing the tee and um, hopefully catching some big old fish. They've been catching some huge stuff out there. The only thing is this was really expensive and uh, this rig is very complicated. There's two rods involved and I've never done anything like this before. So let's get out there. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to mess up anybody's fishing stuff. I don't know how many people are going to be out there. Probably a lot, but yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right. As I said, it's kind of, I'm kind of nervous fishing down here today. I've kind of been um, training for this though. We're evolving like a Pokemon. It's a little bit windy, which I think is actually going to be hopefully good for this. It's an east wind. There's the beach. I do have a buddy down here, Francisco, that I met a couple times when I've been out here. Super cool dude. And he's hopefully going to help us um rig this up and not mess everybody else up <laughs> what's going on birds oh that, that dude's got a whole shrimp in his mouth right there this is definitely a lot longer of a walk than we're used to this is the end almost over there we're fishing and yeah if everything goes right today there's a chance that either we or somebody else out here will catch a really big fish if i don't catch one that's cool i just want to see one caught you know the legend oh, look at this, look at this. what's up man eh? oh, no, how's it going Ready? Dude, I think so. I got I got some stuff. Anything going on? Just tarpons, man. Just tarpon, he said. I should have everything I need. Uh oh. Oh. What do you got here? Do you make YouTube channels? Yeah. I watch some. Oh really? Yeah. That's awesome, eh? Oh man, that's a big fish, dude. Ooh. All right, y'all. So this is Francisco. It's the homie out here. How's it going, everybody? What's that called? The mud hook. Mud hook. So it, it comes like this, and then uh, he kind of bent it out. Cast it far as you can. And it's gonna stick on the sand. Let me get out the <laughs> mud hook to the face. Let's see this technique, dude. Sent that thing flying. So it just kind of digs into the sand, basically. Yeah, basically. With those big, itself into the big claws. All right, so that's easy enough. So that that's just you get yourself snagged, basically. Yeah. Pretty and then much. when you want it back, like after you're done fishing, you just tie it hard as you can, and you walk backwards slowly. You just walk back. You don't pop, yoink it. No. Until <laughs> it pops out by itself. Gotcha. Initially, the hooks will bent straight. Okay. And it'll be so much easier to bring in. Okay, so there's a lot going on. Simply put, this is our anchor rod or mud line. Basically, this anchor will get stuck in the sand and kind of hold the whole rig in place. This is our fighting rod. This is the new rod we just bought. This is what we'll use to hopefully fight any fish that bite. It's basically like a zip line for your bait fish. So this snap will attach to your anchor rod line. As you can see, that's the top line right here. You attach your leader and your hooks at the opposite end of that snap with a release. That's the bottom line you see here. I use a rubber band here. You just want something that will break when a fish bites. And that'll release your fighting rod from the anchor line. And then you tie a leader and I have these pre-made rigs that you attach your live bait fish to. And then you'll send your live bait fish down the zip line attached to both the fighting rod line and the anchor rod line for now. We're using live bait fish by the way. Again, there's some big fish down there. So, bait fish down the zip line. This fish, you know, I can swim a little bit. If a big fish comes, gobbles, and runs with your bait, this rubber band will snap and we can fight the fish just with the fighting. The whole like point of this rig is so that a lot of people can do this kind of fishing from the pier and their bait is anchored to a specific spot so that baits aren't like swimming all over and tangling everybody and everything. All right, and here's my fresh bait. This is a pogey. I was gifted this. Where I'm from, we call them bunker. People were just like snagging them here. So, everything set up. We sent it down the zip line and waited for something to hopefully bite. By the way, we loosened the fighting rod drag, but not too much or it would have backlashed if fish ran with it. But loose enough so we don't lose the rod if the fish runs with it. I am uh, voicing this first day over, by the way, because I had no clue what I was doing and I was just learning a lot, man. I was in school. We were out there all day. The water ended up getting muddy. This guy caught a shark, which is not what you want. We don't, we're not after these dudes. Still cool though. Oh, underneath everybody. Oh, oh tarpon. Way up. Tarpon were hooked up, but again, that's not the target species. Right, I learned how to uh, like move the rods and work together when someone's got a fish on, which is very important out there. Everybody's gotta be vigilant and focused and tending their own rods and gear. Uh-oh. Francisco hooked up on another tarpon. No big fish were landed and no signs today of our target species. 
A few days later, I came out again on a hot, toasty day, determined to catch something big. But uh, right away, I was kind of thrown off a bit. I was pretty much going out here solo. And let me tell you, everybody I met at the pier the other day was so nice, so cool, just like good people. Right as I got out here, and before I even started setting up, a few guys were drinking, and the one dude was kind of like, Oh, GoPro, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> This is before I even turned it on. And I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, what, you guys catch anything? And he was like, yeah, go freak yourself. And kept like, he kept going on about how I shouldn't be there. He doesn't want me there. He doesn't like people with GoPros. Just like saying a bunch of mean stuff. It was weird. I just kind of ignored him. I don't know if he was drunk or whatever. But one of my goals with these videos is to just show y'all, you know, it's okay to go out there, try new things, you know? Getting out of your comfort zone, meeting new people, learning from each other, sharing experiences, respecting nature, and you know, those around you. Unfortunately, there are some people like this. Through all that, I said nothing but kind words to him because I was on a mission for some fish. I'm a big believer in energy and karma. And if you're watching this, I hope you're doing good, guy. All right, so we almost got everything set up. I just need a live fish to throw down there for bait. I got some shrimp on a little hook. Let's go try to catch us one. Eric, who I actually met out on the pier before too, showed me again how to hook the bait. Set it down the zip line, got the anchor line into position, and we were in there. Looks good. Now I'm fishing. Now you're fishing. You see this giant school of puppies on there? It's huge. They're moving though. Yeah, Somebody's about to get hooked up. <laughs> now this is where this is where it gets real cool for like the content and stuff. If you just like, pay attention, so you know that there's a bait there. Oh, you you just had a king. That was a king. Yes, that was kingfish. Are you kidding me? Yep. No, I'm not even lying to you. Look, he's coming back forward. He's gonna get drop, you, bro. Drop, drop your mud line. Drop your mud line. Get it deeper. He's coming forward. There he is, bro. You're about to get him. Bro, you just put Go him in. On. <laughs> You're about to get him, bro. Don't stress about that shit. He's coming to get you. I didn't even see it. I just saw the bait fly out of the water. Sheesh. That didn't take long. Some people go all year without catching one. Yeah. And you just had one come up and I got my heart racing a little bit. That's what happened the other day. I, I didn't get any bites the other day, but uh, Francisco, like, they kept smacking his uh, bluefish like three times, and it just flew out of the water. It was, I think it was tarpon, though. I told, I, I was just telling you, too, that they're going to come up and come and look. Mm -hmm. You just got to pay attention to where the baits are. So yeah. If you see, like, a splash or a flash, it's probably a fish on there. Nope. You know, Ma, Ma, keep it! Ooh. Big king, big king! Kingfish on. This is when you gotta be super attentive of your gear. This lady just hooked into a big kingfish and at any time it could just go under my bait line or over my anchor line. So you just gotta work with those around you. Turn the clicker off. Yeah. Alright, so you're wrapped up. Just let him go. Let him do his thing. Yeah, the rubber band's still on. 
We're gonna try to pop that. All right, nice. Come this way, buddy. Hey, can y'all help me out, please? Thank you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're gonna have to reel your bait up, buddy. All right, over. all right, come on and dip up under his bait real quick. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we saw Clay. Mag this up. You got okay. it, you're under? Yeah. You're, he's got it, Aaron. He's, he's got it right. Yep. Come under that one. All right, you're over. good. Come on. All right, now come back over his mud rod. Come back this go. way. All right, you're good. Appreciate you. Give me. So just kind of let it go? Yeah, just let him go. Let him run us up. You can still on that? So you spoke. Let him run. Back your drag on. Just, just a click. Just let him run. Yeah, he's still on there. He ain't going on. There. Got you. He'll run us up to death. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, that's the first one I ever hooked. <laughs> let him, let him run us up to death. That way, when he gets up to the side of the pier and he's not green and you're not fighting, going through the pier and all that. Yeah. Okay. Let him, let him run us up to death. Sounds good. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, he's good, but he's, he's out there. Come back this way, buddy. Come over here. Uh, yeah, you're over his mud line. I'll drop this down. Sounds good. Go over him. Come over the top. Yeah, yeah I got you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, now come on the other side of me. All right, let him run. Right. Keep an eye. On your mud rod right here. You don't okay. want the rubber cross because it'll chafe it and it'll pop your mud line. Got it'll you. Pop your line. Please fish, please mud line. All right. And that one's kind of out. Start if he's not pulling drag, okay, side on. note, this is my first time ever reeling in a fish with this kind of reel. So yeah, if I look goofy when I'm reeling it in. This is yeah. my first time, man. You have to like use your thumb to guide the line onto the reel so it doesn't, yeah. I, uh, I, yeah, I was trying my best, all right? So you keep pretty good tension? You don't just... I mean, you don't want to keep too much. You don't want him to shoot and pop it. you got small treble hooks and a big fish. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. got frail skin that'll pop out. You want to keep tension, but you don't want to lock him up and drag him in here. Sounds good. Appreciate the advice. Yeah, he's going left. Yeah. Oh, he's going right again. Do I want to kind of push him this way a little bit? Or? No, we don't, we don't want to work him too much. All right, now dip under that bait. Come on the other side of him. If anything, pass, pass your rod to me. Pass your rod. I got you. All right, come on the other side of me. All right, got it? Yep. All right. Are they still working that one? Under this one, I got you. On this side, all right. He's smoking out now. Just let him run. Let him do his thing. Should I loosen out a little bit, or just keep, keep it right where it's at? All right, you gotta come down this way. Man, my rod for my gate. All right, come to the foot. You gotta come on with your fish, buddy. 
All right, now dip under that. Thanks, Find man. That mud rod. There you go. He's in that bait. Yeah, real bait. Real close? Yeah, he's right there. You got a real dope. Oh, shit. You good? Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about the fish. Don't want to get wrapped up in any more of them. Trying to get over the Appreciate it, man. Get on my side. Lock it up. Come on. Give us some meat. Don't let us get on the pilot. You got some drag on him? Yeah. You don't let him take any more. Get his head up. There you go. Get his head up. Get his head up. Get his head up. There you go. Oh yeah. That's how you kill a fish, boys. Oh yeah. Appreciate you, man. My first kingfish ever from the pier too is so cool. Look at how crazy this thing looks. The other king you guys saw that got hooked up, it was wrapped in the pier. Some rods were unmanned to help kind of like deal with that situation. It just made everything a little bit more hectic. This is so cool though. Caught my own bait, pretty much set everything up myself. Thanks again to Francisco and Eric for teaching me and the guys on the pier for majorly assisting. Especially, I mean, being from Delaware, you can't catch fish like this off piers. This is just so sick. Basically, as you fight these things and you kind of gaff them up, they're pretty much croaked as you get them up onto the deck. I'm gonna keep a nice little serving size. We're gonna get back home, do a little catch and cook later. First ever kingfish caught, first ever kingfish we're gonna eat. I actually found a really nice guy too. He wanted the rest of the kingfish. He said I'll share it with his friend. They used the head for soup and they yeah, staked the rest of it. I just still, like, I could not believe. I was literally shaking after I caught that thing, man. Freaking nuts. Yeah, these things are messy, huh? Yeah, it is. If, if you cut it like this, it's messy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gave him the kingfish. Now, this is interesting. You guys can see my knife on the uh, cutting table right there. I just walk away with my chunk of fish, and we leave that knife. Rest in peace, that knife. I probably never see it again. That's, that's very sad. I was in the moment, man. <laughs> oh, there you go. This was crazy. All right, so we got the gear back out there. Maybe like 20, 30-ish minutes later. Crazy hit. I am so sad I didn't get it on camera. I saw a giant kingfish come up, gobble the bait, sprint off with it. This dude ran real far out, and unfortunately, it just yeah, got unhooked, decent. depending on if I didn't have enough pressure on it or whatever. They said it just kind of happens. Whoa. That was cool. All right, we're about to chef it up here in the kitchen. What's kind of cool though, right, is you guys got to like witness the evolution. Hey, man. What's up, dude? It is um, kind of very hot in our camper right now. For some reason, we don't have power. And it's been like a uh, big heat wave here. Like it's like 97 out right now. So it's good. Yeah, hopefully it comes back on soon. We got the lights going with the battery right now. But yeah, y'all witness when we go out to the pier, we didn't really know anything we were starting, right? Then we learned the float rig, caught some blues, caught some trout. Then with some of the stuff we were catching, we'd take it down to the end, knowing one day, hopefully we'd fish down there and uh, we'd give those guys baits, blue fish we caught or really anything else. Then we went out to the end, we started learning, we started watching, we started trying, and now here we are. I'm just excited that like we actually caught something and it wasn't a tarpon too. Like I I'm down to catch a tarpon, but I really like wanted to catch a kingfish and that's like the primary fish that people are out there are going for. I can't believe we did it. It was a big one for me. I don't know, like, uh, you know, locals might be like, oh, you know, that's not that big of a kingfish. I mean, it was a good size one, but to me, me from Delaware, that was a that was a big king. That was fun. I mean, from Delaware, this is like what we call a kingfish that you'll catch in Delaware. I will say there is a lot of info that I did not put in this video. I know I put a lot of stuff in there. I know we voiced it over. It's a little bit different of a kind of video style. It's just, I was out there learning. But there's like a whole lot more that goes into this stuff. I mean, you gotta use high vis line, but it's gotta be like mono. Don't use braid or else like that, that would not be good. This kind of fishing, especially down there at the end of the pier, it's not really something you can jump right into. And again, as I said, it's, it's expensive. Just for that new rod setup, the rod and the reel, it was like over 400 freaking dollars just for the fighting rod. Luckily, I had a big old rod and reel that I could use for uh, the anchor rod, but we had to get new high-vis mono put on that as well. And yeah, if you have to get that and a fighting rod and all the other gear, it's it's freaking expensive. And just even like those anchors, like the little mud hooks, those are like at least $10 each. And I mean, at least this pier, you're talking $5 pier entry every time you go. The gas to get over there, it's 
it adds up a lot of stuff and a lot of like little parts of this rig. First kingfish though, and second, technically we didn't get it in, priceless. So yeah, there's a bit of a barrier to entry knowledge and money wise to get into this kind of fishing. But uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more of these kind of videos, let me know. All right, so here is our filet. It's kind of like a chunk. I'll give you guys a better look here in a second. But this is pretty dense and pretty thick. Look at that. Looks like some good meat, dude. Nothing too crazy. We just got some oil here in the pan and we're just gonna just get the flavors of the fish. Let me know if you guys ever tried kingfish before. They're also called king mackerel. It's just like big old mackerel. All right, got the fish in the pan with some oil. We are just going to let that go. I'm gonna turn this fan on though. All right, and boom, here is a look at the cooked kingfish. This is thicker than what we normally cook. You guys know that if you watch the channel. Almost reminds me of that big old black drum we caught a while ago where it's just like thick piece of meat. Here we go, y'all. Threw on some Cajun seasoning on the top. Let's see what we're working with. Nice looking white fish. Smells good. Let's give this a shot. Fresh caught kingfish. Okay, I was not expecting that. It's like juicy, kind of like oily-ish. I don't know, yeah. Okay, no, yeah, so parts of this are like a little fattier but then other parts are definitely more flaky. You guys can kind of see right here, like this just flakes right here, but over here is a little bit a little thicker, fattier side. That's not bad. Kind of the sense I got from everybody is like, a lot of people, like they catch these fish, but they don't eat them, but some people do. It's a lot of meat, a whole lot of meat, especially if you take the whole one. I'd probably rank that scale of one to 10. I'd say that's, I'll say 6.9. It is good, it's just, it's not the best. It, it does have that like oiliness to it though, which is kind of good. And of course, I had a little seasoning on it, a little Cajun, it is fire. I do have to say though, um, the guy that was, he was not being very nice at the beginning. I actually respect like when it was time to be fishing and fish were going places and you know, he actually helped me uh, gaff my fish, which was super cool. And I, you know, I appreciate the guy. As I was leaving though, again, he just started roasting the GoPro. They're like, oh, dish the GoPro next time. And as I was walking away, like way down there, dude, you're not Bill Dance. I don't care about his YouTube channel, all that stuff. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I encourage everybody, if you're, even if you're not posting on YouTube, man, literally fishing with a GoPro is so cool because you get to capture those memories. And sometimes when you're in the zone, you know, you don't register everything fully. So what's cool is I'll always have these memories, even though I didn't post them on YouTube, to like look back on and stuff, so. Yeah, never, you know, let anybody like that, like sort of bully you and don't own the pier. Kill them with kindness, that's the way to do it. Um, yeah, man, appreciate you guys for watching this video again. I know this is very different than all my other stuff. Hopefully our power comes back on soon. And uh, let me know, man, if you guys want to see more of this kind of style of fishing. There's a lot more stuff that could bite other than just kingfish. I got very, very lucky. I feel like that my second time ever out. We caught a really nice, really nice one. And we uh, lost another one, but it was so cool. That second one, like I could see it come. Yeah, thanks for everybody helping me out. All I got to say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. Camper. See you next video. Whoop. You wanna know just where? Well.